Hi, I'm Alan Windrum, and I'm the author of One Button Benny, and I'm so excited to have been shortlisted for the Bookbug Picture Book Prize 2019. I wrote the words, but I'm rubbish at drawing, so my friend Chloe Holwell Hunter drew these amazing illustrations. I'm going to read you the story of One Button Benny. Benny is a little robot who has one button in the middle of his tummy. Benny's never pressed his button, but one day something happened and let's find out what happened when Benny pressed his button. Benny was different. Benny was special. Benny was a robot. Benny had a bright red button in the middle of his tummy. On the button, written in big, bold letters, were the words, only press in an emergency. Benny had never pressed his button. He often wondered what would happen if he did. Benny had always known that he wasn't like the other robots. They all had lots of buttons, and when they pressed them, they did wonderful things. The other robots used to tease Benny, saying, Here comes one button, Benny. Come on, Benny, press your button. Let's see what it does. I bet it doesn't do anything. Does it even work? It didn't help that Benny's mum made him wear a vest when it got cold outside. Every time the other robots pressed their buttons, they would show off saying, Look at what I can do, Benny. I bet you can't do this. Benny often wished there was an emergency so he could press his big red button. Is this an emergency? Or this? What about this? Can I press my button? One morning, Benny woke up. It seemed just like any other morning. He had his breakfast, brushed his teeth, and looked in the mirror at his big, bright red button and wondered what would happen if he pressed it. But this morning, there was something different. There was something wrong. Outside in the street, everyone was zipping and zooming around in a panic, shouting, Oh dear, what will we do? The collectors are here. The collectors are here. <gasps> Benny had heard stories about the collectors. Scary stories that kept him awake at night and made him hide under his blanket. The collectors were small, hairy, scary aliens with green bottoms who travelled through space looking for bright, shiny metal. They would gather it all up, throw it into their gigantic crushing machine and turn it into teapots. The collectors had arrived in the night and taken over Benny's planet when everyone was sleeping. All the robots were crying as the collectors took them down the main street towards the spaceship and their gigantic crushing machine. Help! We're all going to be crushed and turned into teapots. Benny looked at his mum and said, Mum, mum, I don't want to be a teapot. What are we going to do? Is this an emergency? And mum said, Yes, Benny, this is an emergency. Quick, press your button. You're the only one who can save us now. So Benny placed his finger over the big red button on his tummy, closed his eyes and pressed his button. 
but nothing happened. Then, all of a sudden, there was a zing, zang, and a very loud boom. Benny went zooming into the sky, faster than the fastest rocket, flying higher and higher up into space. He pressed his button again and bright blue laser beams came shooting out of his fingers and from the toes of his boots, zapping the collectors from behind and turning their bottoms bright red. Benny pressed his button a third time and there was a brilliant flash of light that spread across the whole sky. It confused the collectors so much that they all ran around bumping into each other. They were so scared of Benny and what he could do that they ran as fast as they could into their spaceship and flew away never to return. All of the robots just stood and stared at Benny in amazement. Then together they started jumping up and down smiling and cheering and singing. Are you ready to sing along with them? Zing, zang, zoom. Benny touched the moon. Zing, zang, zoom. His button goes boom. Zing, zang, zoom. Benny wears a vest. Zing, zang, zoom. Benny is the best. Everyone lifted Benny up onto their shoulders as they sang and danced all through the town. Later that night, Benny was still amazed at what had happened when he pressed his big, bright red button. And as his mum was tucking him up in bed, Benny asked her, do you think I'll ever get to press my button again? And Mum said, I hope that you never have to, Benny, but somehow I think you will. With that, she gave Benny a goodnight kiss, turned out the light, and before you could say zing, zang, zoom, Benny was fast asleep. The end. Thanks for listening. I hope you've enjoyed One Button Benny. I was thinking you could make your own robots. You could use old cardboard boxes, some recycled bits and pieces, make your robots with one button with lots of buttons, create your own robot world, and they could have lots of adventures. I hope you enjoy making lots of robots and also read in all the other picture books shortlisted for the Bookbug Picture Book Prize 2019. Thanks for listening. Bye.